It was late September, a warm autumn day. The leaves on the maples outside her house were just starting to turn. Family was gathered inside, a tree trimmed, presents wrapped, and a cooking Christmas meal permeated the smell of fall. Christmas was her favorite time of year, a love and joy she had handed down to her family. But this year was different. The tumor was growing, and she knew she had celebrated her last Christmas already. Her advent now was an anticipation of the life that would come next, because this one would soon be ending. My chaplain friend and I were bound and determined that she would celebrate Christmas with her family one more time. If we couldn't get her to Christmas, we would have to bring Christmas to her. So on this late September afternoon, we all gathered. We had a Christmas service one of the most beautiful services I've ever been a part of. As we sang Silent Night, the golden leaves of an aspen in her backyard began to drift to the ground. Then we had a Christmas sing-along with the grandchildren singing and laughing along. Three generations, all together. We sang Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, and all the usual kids' favorites. Santa came to visit, too. This house that had only known sadness in recent months was transformed into a place of joy and peace. A place overflowing with love. It was a cold, snowy Christmas Eve when I received the call. It was time, and they wanted me to come for one last visit. Her family was gathered around her bed next to the Christmas tree. We gently sang her favorite Christmas songs. As we finished singing Silent Night, she passed away into that heavenly peace. Later that night, as I led a church full of people singing Silent Night, amongst all the radiant, candlelit faces, I thought I briefly saw hers smiling back at me. And then she was gone. Christmas is not a time of year. It's a state of being. It's a letting in of the light every day that the darkness cannot overcome and the knowledge that every day is an opportunity for resurrection and rebirth in this life and the next. It's about the promise brought by one small child that we can never truly die.